right, so y'all right up, cool, y'all. Good, good, all right, man, thank you so much for coming out. I gotta be honest, I thought it was uh, gonna be bad weather day today. I thought it'd be raining and we'd have to build an ark and nothing. I gave out a bunch of free tickets this week. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm asking my wife. Where's she at? Is she around here somewhere? Yeah? Okay, good. Oh, man, it's a treat for me. I got a lot of special people that uh, are in my life here today. He came to visit me and visit the show. My good buddy and partner, business partner, uh, Mickey Ceballos from the Ceballos Brothers. Yeah. Producer of the Gletho Show, right back over there. Executive yeah. producer right over there. Yeah, man. There he is, right over there. And my pastor came out tonight. Wow, of all nights, he came tonight. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate it. So, you were having the next day on the strippers. All right, we don't need that. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. Yes, it's a joke. All right, but uh, now, so we're very excited. We have Via here, representatives from Via. All right. Boy, you're all proud, right? <laughs> Boy, you love the benefits, don't you? You're like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, Mia, yeah, yeah. I, I grew up on Mia. That's not a joke, I did. I grew up on Mia, yeah. What's the punchline? But I did, I grew up on Mia. I mean, I'll tell you, because my, my dad didn't drive, because, you know, he used to get mad a lot. <laughs> my dad was one of those, like, jealous people. I remember never forget one time we were on the bus, and my mom was there, and, you know, my mom was just a little chubby. I'm gonna lie. You know, she was a little chubby growing up. Yeah. And, and this man was over there, and he's, like, looking at my whole life, and my dad, real quick, Yeah, give 
just to give a round of applause for all our veterans out there. Right? Yeah. My sons, man, I told them, like, well, you guys haven't made in the shade, you know, my stepsons, you know, I love them now, but, um, you know. Because, <laughs> you know, when you meet your stepkids, they tell you sweet things like, whatever, you're not a real dad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, maybe you don't need my real food then, huh? <laughs> I told them, like, well, you guys got it a lot better than I had, you know. These are like, well, what, what, what do we have that you didn't have when you were little? You have carpet. <laughs> you remember growing up, we used to have that, was it, nalonium, whatever, tile, fake tile, and then it, it, all the corners were chipped off because you peeled them off, you know what I'm saying? You remember that? I remember when we were, like, I mean, we never, when it was cold, like winter, and we had to go to the restroom in the middle of the night, we, and we never wore socks. We just put a sock on the floor and. <laughs> you ever have to do that? <laughs> I told him it was worse, man. My dad, he was a Vietnam vet. Whew. He go, at least you got sleep. Me and my brother were always on watch. We couldn't go to bed. He'd be like, I know what he was talking about, my dad. But I love him, man. He's good, and he looking, you know, he can just tell in his face, man. It's a good man. He's in the car, really, if you want to go check him out after the show. <laughs> no worries, the windows are down, you know, we need a babysitter. And, uh, <laughs> whatever, four for ten, three for ten, whatever it is tonight, I don't care. Oh, man. You guys are awesome, y'all. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out, man. Y'all came out. Oh, man, we gotta get out of here, because we got a wonderful show for you. Well, I don't know if it is or not, but we'll find out together. <laughs> But I'm very excited. A lot of stuff again, you know, has been going on. Uh, you know, talking about like, like we're talking about. You see these comedians.